tengok oh, Yang yet? Yeah. Okay, we on? Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll start talking and we'll have her come back and she might want to say something. Um, uh, this is very interesting here. Um, I guess she'll come back in a minute, but we'll go on as we speak. Uh, yeah, tell them they're going to have to be quiet back there. Tell them that they're going to have to be quiet back there. Yeah. You know. Um, I'm glad to be here and, um, it's always good to make it back to Naptown. Um, we got a lot of, lot of good information that we're going to, um, yeah, we got, got a lot of good information that we want to cover. And so what we're going to do tonight is because I know there was some more instrumental in bringing me here this time with, with Sister uh, Bernetta. And so what I want to do, I want to go into some latest information on the uh, on the government uh, war against the, the Moors. And not only that, I was trying to wonder what was this thing about. And I'm going to go into the history of this thing. I'm uh, going to the history of this as well as, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to so yeah. I want to go into the history of this as well as, um, I want to go um, and tell you, the, tell you the reason behind it. And so we're going to go into the uh, bit of, uh, uh, co uncover a bit of information. And then I got a lot of important things I want to give you as far as I um, bring to you. And that is, there is, um, there's a lot of good things that we got now that can help us. I want to deal with that. I want to introduce some, some technology tonight that was done, um, that was worked on by Nikola Tesla. Uh, Nikola Tesla was, a, 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 of course, responsible for the, for the uh, bringing us the radio. He was responsible for bringing us, um, we now even find out that he was responsible for bringing us the TV. And, um, he was from Czechoslovakia. And any of those places you got there, any of those places you have there, yeah, that's good, right there, good, good. Right, okay. Yeah, okay. Any of those places you have, um, we find now for the last seven, eight hundred years has been an ongoing fight to wipe out certain European bloodlines that was left there by the Moors all over Europe. So uh, when you hear of Stalin killing millions of Russians, uh, 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 killing millions of Russians, uh, that's about, that's really about them wiping out ethnic cleansing, the whole black Russian aspect. You see what I'm saying? And you might have heard um, Renoka Rashidi talk about uh, Alexander Pushkin, who was a guy that was one of their greatest historians of Russia. And he was everything, all things Russia, Russia. And so, when you hear of Stalin wiping out millions of these Russians, and you got the Russians killing the Russians, don't make sense. Obviously, they had to have some type of objective as far as some type of ethnic cleansing. You know what I'm saying? And we need to explain that whole Islamic line in Russia. You see what I'm saying? So, um, Nikola Tesla is from Czechoslovakia. And he uh, was responsible for giving us some great inventions. And he invented one thing, and we'll go into this, uh, we'll go into this um, in a few minutes. Um, some technology where he used to go into the, uh, what they call the Akasic Records. And the Akasic Records is everything that ever was is on libraries in the ethers. And you can tap into the Akasic Records by going up there with your own mind. And so he used to go into the Akasic Records and bring down these designs. And one of the designs he brought down was some stuff called Tekion Energy. And they worked on it for years after he died. But anyway, um, you've heard uh, Dr. Deborah Blair talk about the diodes and the different things that you can. Well, there's some new energy. Um, there's some new energy called the purple plate or the purple disc energy. And this is Tekion Energy. Mm. And this particular Tekion Energy, now what, now what makes this so important, why I got involved, is because of the spiritual aspect. When he went up, when he went up um, on this realm, 
when he went up on this realm, he tapped into a ninth dimension and it was an angelic realm. And as a result, it opened up a dimension where as not only are you getting this particular energy, this healing energy, which when, you, when you deal with these techie, with the techion energy, and I'll show you what it is. It's a, it's a disc. Let me see, it's a disc. I think I'll get one. I got one on. It's a disc and it's, it's healing energy. But not only is it healing energy, let me show you what this thing is like. Uh, what this, this is like. This is the disc. This is tachyon energy. It's a healing disc. And um, um, so I'm doing my infomercial like uh, uh, Deborah Blair does. But this is very important. Now what I want to do, I want to show you this. Got several things. And we're going to pull libation and all of that. Uh, and all of that. But this is the purple disc. And we have several of these. are 25 bucks for the people that's interested. Well, I'm going to go into some history on this stuff. Magnificent. And this disc, you put it around your neck, and it starts eliminating things week by week. So it, gets, it first gets rid of stress, then it gets rid of fatigue, then the third week you stop eating. You see what I'm saying? Um, then it starts healing. And so this thing is having things where it's healing cancer and all other type of things. You see, uh, healing, um, 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 healing, healing other things. So, uh, um, I mean, it does a multiplicity of things as we go into it, but I'm going to give you um, some science behind it on the spiritual aspect. We even got testimonies. I got a guy from California called, and he was his father was dying, and he had one on. And the, the hospital called him, said, your father's dying. He was like, oh, no. And he said he saw his father in a vision go up to a purple cloud and come back down and was completely healed. And all of a sudden, the doctors don't know what happened. So the mystery behind this is, is, is coming from an angelic realm, an angelic realm, and that angelic realm is provided by a four cardinal, um, um, well there's seven of these major angels, but there's four major ones of, of, of um, you know, the, the four elements, and, the four, and those seven angels are, the four angels are Raphael, Michael, Gabriel, and Uriel. Now, uh, Raphael is, the god Tahuti in Egypt, Michael is of course because the warrior god, so he would be a form of Horus. Um, Uriel is a form of Sekhmet because it's a god of fire. And Gabriel is actually a form of Aset. This is interesting here because you see, because um, you get these arguments, you see, um, Gabriel is the one who uh, 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 supposedly dictated the Quran to Muhammad. You see what I'm saying? Uh, 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 he, that particular concept. But when you look at these particular entities outside of our human perception, we're talking about androgynous. So therefore, it fits the form of our set. Uh, it fits the form of segment. You see what I'm saying? Um, so, um, and we come to find out that these so-called archangels have their origin coming out of Ethiopia. Coming out of Ethiopia. And I did a whole thing because we found an Ethiopian god in, is, and, I, and I'm going to try to go through some of my, um, my overlays. You found an Ethiopian god, um, an Ethiopian god, which, was, which we always wanted. We, we, we want several things, several things to happen. Um, we know that Ethiopia, or Kush, is the mother of, of Kemet, of Egypt. So naturally we, would want, um, naturally, we would want to find some type of relationship to something is coming from that particular area. And so we were luck we was lucky to find an Ethiopian deity, um, an Ethiopian deity by the name of Agnator that came out of the Gnostic texts. And it's interesting here, they dug these Gnostic texts up in 1945. They found them in 1945. They translated these Gnostic texts in um, 1977. Along with these Gnostic texts came a whole lot of magical texts. So they suppressed those magical texts for the simple fact they would say, wait a minute, hold on. Um, we're trying to say that this is an extension of Christianity and not pre-Christianity. So, so, so they try to hide certain things to understand, well, how could there be a pre-Christianity? I thought Christianity came on the scene with the advent of Jesus. That's right. So how could it be a pre-Christianity? 
So what happened was they had to separate the magical part because they know that Egypt was full of magical things and the ancient world was full of magical texts. So they, they, they didn't want to get into that particular controversy, so they later on released them that magical text in the 1990s. And as a result, this is, um, as, as a result, um, this particular deity, this is a fragment of a ma magical Coptic text, but this particular deity was in that magical Coptic text. Now, I, I've, I've had the material and the actual text since 19, 1996 in a book called Ancient Christian Magic. Now, I had the text since 1996, so they later on released these texts. The spirit world will reveal to you things. I've had the book and I was looking in the book for years. Even, even did some other lectures out of certain material in the books. And in March of this year, the, the pages open up to this particular beautiful figure of an Afro-type deity. And his name is Agnator, Agnator the Ethiopian. The, uh, the Ethiopian angel. He is the one that sets over the all angelic hosts. We can trace those, those archangels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, all the way back to, to, to Ethiopia, and this particular deity called Agnator. Agnator, which is interesting here because we celebrate, we, we, we celebrate, yeah, you got the book, Ancient Christian Magic, good, great. So we celebrate, we celebrate, um, Drusilla Dundee Houston from 1926 that wrote this remarkable book. And, and, and actually it's a standard there and we've never seen anything to come close to it when it comes to the information on Kush. She even had the book, Wonderful Ethiopians in the Ancient Kushite Empire by Drusilla Dundee Houston. Um, they have a nice website you can go on now and type in her name and they give you a whole dossier on her. Which is, that's the good part about the internet. We get to learn more about these particular, um, these particular people. So Drusilla Dundee Houston. Um, but since her book is a standard bearer, because we've never had that type of information or scholarship on that particular level again based on Kush. And now we get this wonderful Ethiopian god called Agnator. So this is not only the god, this is the god that sets over the whole Rastafarian thing. You see. He's, he's, he's also known as Metatron, which is very key. The Metatron is later on taken up into Spain and becomes the god of the Moors. So not only do we have a god of Ethiopia, we have a god of the Moors. <laughs> which we've always wanted to know, well, what, would the, what would the Moors be dealing with? We know that the Moors was dealing with more than just Islam. <clears throat> and, so, and, and, and let me clear that up, because a lot of people can't understand how that is done. The Moors was the Egyptian, it was, it was uh, Ancient Egyptian priesthood, or in this particular case, the ancient Mediterranean, ancient African priesthood, because we got them all over the place. Now, people want to know well, how did this connect with Islam? The Moors understood that they could take Islam as a tool of conquest. They studied what the Arabs had done. They said that we could use it as a tool of conquest, and you can go under Islam as a banner. Or a political banner. So it's just saying this: you could be different denomination, a different faith, a different occupation, but you could be in the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. Well, these particular ancient Moors could go under Islam, the emerging um, a, a system at that particular time, and use it as a tool of conquest to go into Europe. You see, but they brought into Europe multiple things other than just the Islam of the Arab sector. You see what I'm saying? They brought knowledge with the, the Western knowledge, period. You see, so, um, so this is the deity at NATO, and I wanna, um, I wanna deal with, um, we're gonna deal with this later, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the face of that particular moor. But I wanna, I wanna deal with this right now, and we find another, another picture that I need to deal with. Y'all all right? Yes. Yes. Uh, so we got a pull libation, and let's see, uh, we got pull libations, and uh, we got a lot we got to deal with. So I'm going to strum through some of this, because there's something that I, very important I must find. Uh, I must find, 
um, to show you what's going on. As a result, what happens with me is this. Um, some people say, well, why don't you talk about things you talked about in the past? I say, well, I'm always in the level of research. Anytime, anytime I wake up, uh, this, okay, I see what this is. I'm gonna have to put this up here somewhere. But anytime I wake up, and we're still in this situation, means we, you never feel satisfied with the knowledge you have. You have to keep going. Right. And you have to keep going. And as a result, I leave myself open to what shows up. So, what has shown up with the, with the uh, advent of, hold on one minute. With the advent of at NATO, with the advent of at NATO, this Ethiopian, these other entities showed up. First with Raphael, Michael, Gabriel, and Uriel showed up. And we see them in the Ethiopian Book of Enoch. That's one you need to get R.H. Charles' book, Ethiopian Book of Enoch. There's an excellent one, a new one they just put out by Samuel Wise in 2003, where they stripped out a lot of the, he had a lot of technical notes and it's just straight read. And, um, and as a result, um, these angels are in there. Michael, Uriel, Gabriel, and Raphael, the four. These are the ones you want to focus on now. You need to thank them today for the reason why it's not raining. Because it was supposed to rain today. It's supposed to have a thunderstorm. But you got four angels and four elements and you invoke them. And as a result, they held up on the rain. I did, one, I did a lecture last week. They held up in, in Atlanta. I did one on Mother's Day and it was supposed to rain on Mother's Day in Baltimore and they held up. They, 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 they held up. So you want to thank these particular deities. Now here's a picture of a chakra system. A chakra system that had Raphael, Michael, Gabriel, Sandifam, and, 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 and the different archangels. This is what we're going to be dealing with today, as well as other things. But I want to show you this. I want to deal with two, two things right quick on my infomercial. And then on my infomercial. I'm going to deal with two things. This is what I received that you heard of Barack Obama's stimulus package. Well, if they're giving out a stimulus package to the physical world, there has to be a stimulus, stimulus package to the spiritual world. So don't think this stuff is crazy because it's already worked. We, we, we launched this thing in Baltimore and it's unbelievable. I, and I want to want to show you what this is about. This is a check that I received. It says the angels. Now it's interesting because this Aunt Mary shows up. Then these archangels show up. They show up. The archangel Michael give us this purple disc. This purple disc, and it's been healing. You can put the purple disc on, and it starts healing and it gets rid of stamina, stress, and all this. And then, they show up with a check. We launched this in, in, in Atlanta last week, but we did it on Mother's Day in Baltimore. Unbelievable, here's a check. Now there's some mystery behind this. It's not just a piece of paper. There's a mystery behind this. Here's a check. And it says, Angels Halo Way, First Angelic Bank. Now we've already got the spiritual backup because you saw that deity with that Afro figure from Ethiopia. You see what I'm saying? From Ethiopia. So this particular check says first angelic angelic bank, universal name. Um, this is Bobby Hemet. And then it has here your guardian angel. Now it has an eight and an infinity. Now we got these checks. Now what do you have to lose? This check is only gonna cost you five dollars. This is the most amazing thing about this. Now check this out. 
you put $2,500 on the check. So, I, so with me, I filled out Bobby Hemet, $2,500. Um, so me, I say spiritual supplies. You can put it whatever you want. You can say income. You can say food or what have you. But the mystery here is, the mystery here is, it has a thing that says, your guardian angel. I'm sure how this stuff happened. And the mystery here, the key to this is, the people that gave me the check, I got this check for white folks. You should be happy about that. See, white folks ain't like you. You will mess around and stuff for years and don't work. And make it be a religion. Or be, you make it your religion don't work. White folks, if they were to mess around with some stuff, and it don't work, they're going to throw it away and go to the next thing. You see what I'm saying? They're going to go to the next they, They're going to go to the next thing. And this is, and remember now, this, this, this is a system that is set up with them that they have preserved through the moors. Through the, through the moors. We're going to get into this today, and we're going to get into some other things with the moors and some other things that you need to know about, as well as, as the warfare. Because as of last week when they, uh, when they sent us those Three black guys for so-called in 1996 conspiring them to blow up the Sears Tower. The Moors became official a terrorist organization. You see, official with the censor. We can go into science of this to let you know, but that never, but nevertheless, you don't have anything to worry about. You see what I'm saying? If you use your head now, but anyway. The key here is, is this. In order for this check to be activated, you've got to know your guardian angel. Know your guardian angel. So that was one of the keys. They gave me the check. But in, in so many words, I would have to know the guardian angel. Well, there's a list of these guardian angels that set over your birthday each month. And we actually have the list of the guardian angels. And the people who produced this stuff in 2000, who revealed these, because they're always translating stuff that they have these texts. When they produced these guardian angel texts in 2000, they specifically said that these guardian angels are called Akkadian. So anytime you hear the word Akkadian, that's black. They let you know, go see the movie, uh, go see the movie um, Scorpion King. And the Akkadians show up. And the Acadians show up and they're what? The Michael Clark Duncan, the same guy that did the Green Mile, you know. You see, the big black man. So the Acadians are black people. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 so what they say here is, these particular entities, and we have a list of the entities, are Acadian and that means they're talking about our ancestors. Now, this is the deal. You get this check, it's only five bucks. You put $2,500 on the check. Now, one of the keys is it has an eight or an infinity in the corner. Which means once you receive your $2,500 because it's infinity, it means that it's going to be ongoing. So this is why the angelic host suggested that you don't go above $2,500. Because they say it's supposed to be a thing that's supposed to be ongoing. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So, you get the check. You put your name on the check and you fill it out. So we have the checks here today. It has a gold stamp on it of this angel Metatron, which is the god of the Moors. And one of the most highest deities. Um, that the Hebrews deal with in the Kabbalistic system because the Moors brought the Kabbalah or the Kabbalistic system to Spain. You see, we'll go into that. Moses de Leon, which was this Moor, brought the Kabbalistic system to Spain. You see what I'm saying? And so the, the, the highest angel in the Kabbalistic system is Metatron. You see, they later on called Megatron in the movie uh, Transformers. He was the great enemy, but that's the great Moor. <laughs> now, so not only so we're dealing with research now that we can actually put our hands on the type of deities and stuff that these that, that our people was dealing with. So 
So the most so Moses de Leon brought the, 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 the this Zohar, which is the written Kabbalah, shows up in Spain. Brought there by the Moors. And one of the keys, the most, one of the key um, 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 angelic hosts is Metatron. He's also known in Kemet as Medu Ra Atan. You see, uh, uh, Medu, word of the sun in the disc. Metatron. You see what I'm saying? Now, so there's a stamp with Metatron on there that makes it Moorish. So, we, so what we're doing here is, is we do a lot of research and we go through the years until we start finding breakthroughs. Now they got all this stuff that's going on with the secret. People come up with the secret. People come with all these types of um, uh, um, information, but they don't want to tell you where they got this information from. It's the secret, but it's nothing but coming out of the Hermetic text, which is the, which is the sacred text of Tahuti. You see what I'm saying? And because Hermes is the god Tahuti, so you got the Hermetic text. So they won't tell you that they'll get this stuff from the Kabbalion, the three initiates. A book called the Kabbalion, the three initiates. So they just tell you about the secret. She has, she's holding up the Kabbalion. <laughs> so they're getting the information from the Kabbalion. But they won't tell you that. Then all of a sudden, so they went, oh, this 19, 2006, the secret, the secret, the secret. You see what I'm saying? And, um, but they won't tell you, but the secret was that they just took the Kabbalion and applied one of the laws, the laws of attraction. Now these are hermetic, Moorish laws because the see anytime any type of information shows up mysteriously shows up in in in, in, in Europe and they don't have no explanation how it got there you know how it got there that's that's the code any type of information mysteriously shows up in Europe so this particular information this cabalion is printed in the uh, in the 1900s the three initiates, and then later on, they come and make this, take this stuff and start calling it the secret. There's another book called The Secret Source. Came out last year, The Secret Source. And it says, the laws of attraction are but one of the seven hermetic laws. Here are the other six. Well, the seven hermetic laws are the seven, seven Moorish laws. Because this material, whether we like it or not, it shows up in Europe. And when it shows up in Europe, and they do not trace it back. Because anything that they want to do, they, if, they, if they can trace it back to Greece or Rome, they would do it. And some of this stuff shows up in Latin, and they still won't trace it back to Rome. You see, and that is the reason why they do that and stuff. Because they understand that this particular stuff is Moorish. You see what I'm saying? So, Metatron is the god of the Moors is the God of the Moors. We won't get into this today because we, we, we are dealing now with enough information, you see what I'm saying, to, to document a lot of things. Now here's a picture of Metatron. Um, this is one that was translated um, that was translated by McGregor Mathis. And mysterious, this stuff mysteriously shows up in, the, in, the, in, 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 in Europe. Now I don't know whether whether they did one thing. I don't know whether they restyled his face and his hair or maybe the Moors put it that way to show that we have more than one phenotype. We always think of Africans or black people or indigenous people around the world with the West African phenotype. And that's one time why we get thrown off. Well, they don't look West African. Well, this shirt can look East African. You see what I'm saying? So the point I'm trying to say, it can look East Indian. You see, it can look Ethiopian. You see, because we had more than one phenotype. You see. Now, so, and as you can see the horns on the head, we'll get into this type thing. So this, I even have it up here. It's the God of the Moors. This is the God of the Moors. Whatever it is, he draws enough energy. Now, but, let me go back to this. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh Lord, when a man that put us in the museum and Lord, they don't come up in here. <laughs> they made his kids. The man that opened the museum up and they made kids and don't come up in here and breaking up shit. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> Lord, I tell you, this is what you 
saw it all. Anyway, listen. Anyway. So, the key here is, you're going to get this check. And in 2000, they brought out what is called the Acadian Spirits. So I hear that word, so you got to know linguistics. You got to know different types of our people, different types of people, when you hear these words Akkadian, when you hear these words Carthaginians, when you hear these words Berbers, you got to know those are all different black people. And they'll give you, you see what I'm saying? They, don't, they take all the white people and say Europeans. You see what I'm saying? I put it all on the Westerns, whatever. Western theology, Western this. But they'll give you the Akkadians, the Berbers, the Carthaginians. You see what I'm saying? The Etruscans. They're all black people. So these Akkadian spirits came out in 2000. Here's a book called Angel Signs by Albert Haldane, H-A-L-D-A-N-E. Albert Haldane, H-A-L-D-A-N-E, and Samia Soraya, S-I-M-H-A-S-E-R-A-Y-A, Soraya or Soraya. Now what you want to do is, this book is old enough now that you can go on this book. Now what I want you to do is this. I'm going to give you this. Y'all all right? I'm going to give you a list. If you get the check for $5, I'm going to give you a list with the check. And with that list, with that check, it's going to have your birthday, and it's going to have a host of archangels on that list. It's going to have a host of archangels on that list. We'll find it. And I'm going to give you that list. Now, you're going to take that list, you're going to take this thing, and you're going to fill this check out. And it's going to have a list under your birthday to say, born between December 5th and whatever, so and so, and it'll have the archangel. In this particular case, mine is Ha Siya. Ha Ha Siya. Akkadian spirit. Remember that. That's, that's ancestors. And you're going to fill this check out. You're going to take it home and you're going to put it on the altar or you're going to put it in a frame. And what's going to happen here is, what's going to happen here is, Santa, periodically $2,500 is going to come. So they said, well, don't go over $2,500 because the simple fact we have an eight in the corner which means it's going to come to you all the time. You understand where I'm coming from? You see, so you can go under, you can go a thousand, what have you. But $2,500 is the highest you can go. You see what I'm saying? As agreed to by the angelic host, who brought this particular information. Uh, who brought this particular information. And there's going to be a list I'm going to give you in that list. I, I'll show it if it if I can in a minute. And in that list is going to be, um, is going to be um, your, your, your angelic angel. And that's going to be the thing, your guardian angel. Everybody has a guardian angel. Um, a guardian angel. It's just that they, 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 they have all these particular texts and they let this stuff out. Now, what you want to do, once you find out what your guardian angel is, you want to go to the internet and you want to look up angel signs by Albert Haldane and Samia Soraya. And it's, and, and, it's, and, and it's on there, it's been on there about eight years, the book is about eight or nine years old, so what's going to happen here is you'll be able to click on and go to the page and you can just read exactly what your Archangel is. Today I'm going to give you a, a paper with your birthday and the name of the Archangel. But what you want to do, since this thing is blessing you, you want to go back and you want to read what that Archangel is. Now, a few other things when we get into this lecture. So you want to get the check. You're going to get the check and the name for five bucks. You can't beat $2,500 periodically for five dollars. See what I'm saying? You give a bum on the street five dollars. You see what I'm saying? You know, you can't buy McDonald's or uh, 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 Wendy's with $5. It costs you $20. McDonald's is a $20 meal now for two people. See what I'm saying? Ridiculous. Now, what you want to do is we have these purple plates. Now, this purple plate is all healing plate. It's going to cost you $25 to come with the string. You put it on. Um... I had a toothache every year for the last eight years, every spring. 
when it's getting ready to turn from winter to, 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 to spring or summer, I had this toothache. This year I took the, took the, took the disc and put it in my jaw, and I, since I had a string when I fell asleep, when I woke up, the disc had all kind of brown toxins on it. And it completely healed the toothache. Now the mystery here is, is this. This is the mystery behind it. We, we took it to a, 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 a seer, and one brother bought the disc, took, gave it to this, 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 this brother who was a seer, or, uh, you know, or a scientist or whatever, and had, and, and, or had to give whatever you want to call it. And the guy didn't know anything about it. He said, man, I feel all kind of energy around this disc. And he said, he tapped in. And he said, oh, man, I'm looking. He said, I see a whole bunch of angels around the disc in another dimension. So what, what uh, uh, Nikola Tesla, uh, Nikola Tesla used to do, and the brother C. Freeman L. used to talk about this, he used to go up on these astral planes and he'd pull down these designs. Now I saw a crackhead do this. Back in the 90s, as a crackhead was working on, he was, we see him on the side of the street working on people BMWs and working on Mercedes. We like, man, you know, you know, you just don't just work on a BMW and Mercedes, you gotta know something. So we asked the brother one day, well, how do you how do you know how to work on that? He said, oh, he said, what I do is, is I pray to the Lord at night, I go to bed, and when I get up in the morning, it's in my brain blueprint. <laughs> in my brain blueprint. So we, so you see, so we know that those they, they, they are these acoustic records. That's, they're called the acoustic records. Give me that, that coffee and that water right there. Thank you, sir. We know that they are acoustic records. You know, I, I lost my comb. I could trying to find my comb on the back. I guess so. I just say well, the African look or whatever. <laughs> The good thing about consciousness, you can wear your hair when you want to, on any kind of way. You're like, nah, man, you know, you comb no hair. <laughs> you know, I cut it low enough so that it didn't really make up that much of a difference. But anyway, um, anyway, he would go up on these astro planes and pull down these designs. So he pulled down this tachyon energy, this purple plate energy, and what happened was, was after he died, one of his students picked this stuff up and worked on it for 40 years. And as a result, um, um, as a result, they had this, 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 this Techion energy. So look up Techion, they even mentioned it in Star Trek. Look up Techion energy on the internet. But I also have a little, uh, a little thing, that, uh, a, little, uh, a little paragraph of the history of this, what this thing does if you buy one for 25 bucks. But um, we're telling the people to get these things now. Now this is the mystery behind this, why I, I am pushing this. I'm pushing this because the simple fact is this. Uh, my queen did this uh, ritual to Raphael uh, back in March. And he came through with some healing stuff. And then all of a sudden, a sister, a sister named Cabrina calls me from California. And I give her this reading and she says, um, and, I, and, and, uh, you know, and so I said, um, she said, well, is it too late? I said, no, no, I don't go to bed till 4 o'clock. I can't go to bed till 4 o'clock in, in, in the morning. So she was like, well, I don't go to bed till late either ever since I got the purple plate. And I'm like, yeah, and she started telling about the purple plate. And she was like, well, you know, you want me to send you and Linda one? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, people send us stuff all the time. You know, we've got all this stuff. And so she said, I'll send you one. So she sent it to us. And I mean, things just started kicking in and started working. And, you know, I already started at 4 o'clock, but, but, but Linda, my queen, 12 o'clock, at 12.30 or 1, she's gone. And when I went in there one day, and it's 4 in the morning, and I'm getting ready to go to bed, she's been up all night. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. So the first thing this thing does, it gets rid of stamina, and it gets rid of um, fatigue. Then it starts getting rid of, it starts eliminating other things on your, other things on your body. Now, there's a bigger plate that you can get. There's a bigger plate that you can get um, that's as big as an album cover you can put up, up under your bed. And that really works on large posters. But this alone does a lot. And you can take this and put it just this little small disc. And we're going to go into the history of this disc and stuff to um, the history of this disc uh, uh, later on. Um, but if you're interested, but one of the keys here is, is this. What happens is, is at night these angelic hosts come down and they operate on you. So we have a dirt, because what he did is he, he tapped into what is called a ninth dimension. And in that ninth dimension, the angelic realm, there is no sickness, there is no nothing. So if you transfer this 
this to you and start wearing this this and, this, and, and it has a direct symbiotic correlation to the, that particular realm, then what happens here is, then what happens here is, um, um, things on you start disappearing as far as ailments and stuff like that. Your dreams pick up, you see your dreams pick up, and different things like that, you know, start happening. Um, start happening and also prosperity. So we got a few things. Um, we got a few things. We got another thing which uh, you can go, I, 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 I got to get the website in a few minutes. But there's an eight that you can put in your wallet. A little, it's, a, it's, a, it's a copy of an eight. Now, we got them for five bucks for the people that want them. You put this thing in your wallet and, and your money returns to you. It's the most amazing thing. And I got, and I got a lecture that I did down in Atlanta on April the 4th. I mean, that Martin Luther King's birthday and his death day, yeah. April 4th. And I'm, and, and, and I'm looking in my wallet for, to show the people the eight, and there's a hundred dollar bill just appears in there, and I'm like, what the hell? I knew when I was a hundred dollar bill in my, in my pocket. So it just keeps returning. So we'll, we'll spend some money, we'll spend some money, and then all of a sudden somebody will call and say, well, I'm gonna buy some tapes, I wanna do, and it just keeps returning. So we got some eights, we got the disc, and we got some checks. We got some checks, so we're gonna deal with that. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour a little libation to get this thing going. I got my coffee. Y'all all right? All right. All right. Okay. All right. And please me look. Now do not skate on these idols. This stuff works. Me believe me, I don't put my name behind nothing. You see what I'm saying? That you know what I'm saying? I'm, and, 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 and believe me, this check. White folks gave me this. White folks got money. No I don't know if you heard some of my tapes. Whereas you go in these rich white neighborhoods and you see them got reefs on their door year round. Yeah, yeah. You put a reef on your and and, uh, and you understand why they living in a million dollar home? Because that reef on that door, the spirits come through that reef. You see what I'm saying? That's old Morris science. Mm. You see. Mm. What you see white people with year round reefs on their door. Mm. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's because that's because they tapped into our science so they preserved our particular science. Mm. And, and, and spirits and everything come, and prosperity comes through those reefs. Mm. There's a whole book called Magical Household by Scott C Cunningham. Magical Household by Scott C Cunningham. Did we recover in all of our ancient information that they preserve in Europe. Now don't be upset with white folks for having our knowledge. This was a part of our plan. I talk about how we knew we was going to go into slavery, we knew we was going to lose our mind, we knew we was going to lose our memory, we knew we was going to go to sleep, we knew, knew it 5,000 years before it happened. So we took this stuff and took it up into Europe and taught them for one reason. Can, and you say, well, well, imagine how the European is with the information. Can you imagine if you'd have woke up out of slavery and he had no information? <laughs> but the information itself would have been lost forever so we put the information there so that they can preserve it mm -hmm. and they work better than us on things because see because they don't have a culture they are not at a disadvantage we are at a different disadvantage for the simple fact not only do we have cultures we have multiple cultures we have so much cultures and we are, we are the authors and the origin of all of the stuff on the planet until we spend all our time when we come back into consciousness arguing over the different cultural things. I'm a Moor, I'm a Hebrew, I'm an Egyptian, I'm this and I'm that. And we're all of that. Whereas the European goal says, look, we don't have this type of culture. We borrow culture and make it ours. So as a result, we can use all of these cultures and fuse it together and deal with what works. When we in the black community, you know what I'm saying? We, been, we in the black community, we still arguing over identity. <laughs> arguing over, arguing over, over history. And what we don't realize is it's gonna always be an argument for us because we are always, we are always, we are all of those things. Look, we found out recently, one of your brothers, one of the Moors, Brother Arlene Bay, announced this, broke this back in, um, back in um, 07, I think it was 07, 
up in, he, he opened for me up in New York in 07. And said that they had traced the Shane Dynasty back to Shango, West Africa. Shango, the god Shango, the god of thunder and lightning. And the Shane Dynasty, which is the first dynasty in China. So I'm trying to say, we're finding out just about, you know, it, our history is so great until when we think about it, you, you can't really believe it. You're like, I, I don't believe that shit. We can't be doing, we can't be everything, but then again, we are. So much it's amazing. You see what I'm saying? Now I talked about this, which I also have for, for $5. I'm going to go for some of these things here too. Uh, this is, this, they asked them, they asked them, the Santeria community. Santeria is the Yoruba implanted in South America, Mexico, the islands, Latin America. They asked them to draw the Orishas back in 1992 and come up with what these Orishas would come up with. So when they got to the, what, 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 what would they look in their mind's eye when they, when, they, when they go into meditation and what would they come to? So when they did this particular one, this is Shango, the god of lightning, and the word Barat also means lightning. And, in, and, in, and, and 18 years ago, they drew this picture of Shango with Barack Obama's face. I mean, that's a close likeness. You can say it might be a little off, but when you're talking about 18 years ago, he even has his hair. He got his ears. That's amazing. That's, that, that's, a, that's amazing. You see what I'm saying? And, 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 I, and I had the book 18 years ago. I, I had the book and I got rid of the book. I had it in English. Got rid of it. Could only find it again in his, I had to find it in Spanish. And I bought the book. One month he announced he was running the next month. And I didn't find out till a year later when I found out the word Barack means lightning. And I'm looking through the thing and I said, wait a minute, this thing has Barack Obama's face. That's the synchronicity. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, the Shango, we can be traced all the way back. It can be traced all the way back to the Shang Dynasty. To, to the Shang Dynasty. Y'all all right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me, let me close the libation. Because I want to, and the first part of the day is I want to get into um, some mysteries of the Moors. Let me, let me show you another thing right quick. I did a, a TV show. Well, I'm going to deal with this too. Because we are... Uh, we're dealing with, um, as you can see, the sister Benetta that, that, that hosts this thing. She's walking around and she has on a, a blue dress, kind of turquoise dress. Now this is a picture of Yemenya. Yemenya is a sea goddess, or the goddess of the sea, the goddess of the waves and the water. She's your original mermaid deity. And her colors is blue and white. And we've been celebrating her since 07. She's the big mama, and she's the mother of the Orishas. She's called Emiya in Dogon. And Emiya is also called the third planet of the star Sirius. You got Sirius A, Sirius B, and the Dogon talk about a Sirius C that nobody has seen yet, but they say it's called the star of woman Emiya. And Emiya is Yemenya or Yemonja in Yoruba. Yemenya in, um, Yemonja in, in Yoruba, Yemenya in Santeria. But she's a mermaid deity. And as you can see, when she was putting on her dress today, she decided to put on the turquoise or the blue. You see what I'm saying? And I say that is fitting because um, I was going to talk about Yemenya or Yemonya and, 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 and her colors is blue and white. Uh, her, her colors is, is, is blue and white. Now, um, I, I think I, I, um, after I put the libations or whenever, but I'm going to get into this Moorish thing. Um, there's another part, there's another form of her that, uh, there's another form of her um, that I'm going to deal with is a much more severe part of her. I'm going to show you this too. Y'all all right? Yeah. All right. Hey, is that her on the Starbucks cup? Um, it could very well be. I think the Starbucks is a form of Ishtar or Astarte with the star. Yeah. But Astarte is also... This is how it goes. You have, a, you got to trace it back. There's a starte, there's a not a starte, which is a Chaldea or a Canaan. Um, um, it's um, and also Libyan, or Carthage, 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 and Phoenician. You got to trace this back to the black. Uh, she's called uh, she's called Anana in Samaria. She's called Ishtar in Babylon. She's called Venus in, she's called Venus 
in Etruscan. And Etruscan later on becomes Rome. Rome. Etruscan is the black form. She's called um, Aphrodite in Phoenician. Later on becomes later on becomes uh, uh, Greek. She's called Hathor Heheru in Egypt. She's called Urzuli in West Africa. And she's called Yemenya. You see what I'm saying? So the Starbucks is the same line. It's the god Venus. The, the, uh, the goddess Venus of the planet Venus also. You know, you see. Now, I want to say this before I go to the libation. This Raphael character came through. The Raphael character came through to the brother named Panic up in New York came through and was giving him a certain amount of information. And he told him, after we invoked all of this, he told him, he said, um, get your children's art because it's got magical powers to it. And they got a whole movie with Eddie Murphy getting ready to come out about the, yeah, the little girl drawing the picture. That Raphael came through and said, get the children's art and basically, if you receive that, you get those children to draw you those pictures. You can take those pictures and use those pictures for healing, prosperity, or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Knowledge, all kind of thing. So, I said this on the radio in Atlanta. A little 11-year-old boy came to, the, came to the lecture last week. And he had these drawings of these angels. Of these angels. And we, we, we showcased the little boy, and he talked and stuff, and he said he was an avatar that came to this land, to, to, to be in this land. It's only a few of him, and he came, to his sector is Atlanta, he's like this angelic host that came back, oh, let me your boy, brother. He said, and he was drawing spirits in, in, in the lecture. And he had all these angels he was drawing. So at the end, I said, but man, you, you need, I said, oh, you need you get your mom and come by my house. We gonna take, I'm going straight to Keiko's with your, your behind. <laughs> I'm going to Keiko, I'm going to get, I'm going to get some copies of them things. You ain't got to get out of So at the end, he, he decided, he said, well, I tell you what, I, I can't get rid of these, but I can get rid of this one. He had a page before, when I got, I got, I, I got another one over there somewhere. He said, I can get, and I'll show you three of them, but I, he said, I can get rid of this and I'll I say this is for a dollar. And I looked at it, I said, man, I'll give you ten dollars for it. And the guy said, oh yeah, you give him ten. That's like a hundred dollars to these uh, 11 year old. He was just smiling. I said, I'll give you ten dollars for it. And stuff like that. And what he was trying to do, he was trying to pass off to me the one that he figured, I'm going to try to get rid of this one off on him for a dollar or what have you and stuff. Because he didn't, in his mind, what came in, he couldn't understand. So he passed this off. And on, it was it was it was it was one paper front and back, and it had two 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 angels or two drawings of mystical creatures on one side and two on the other side. So I looked at that one, and it was a little it was a purple aura dragon. I was talking about the purple plate. Okay, I said, oh, that's cool. I said, that's cool. Then he gave me another one. See if I can find it. Um, if I can find it. But I'm, I'm gonna make the point. It was another one. Was another type of little dragon. And then he said, and I said, well, okay, well, why you didn't, you know, why you don't want to give me these other angelic ones and stuff? You know, no, no, this one, you can have this one. I said, okay. Then when I looked, I said, oh, he's trying to pass this off on me. <laughs> and I said, man, you don't know, you, you couldn't have gave this brother the ultimate prize. When I saw it, I said, I'm giving you $10. And so this is why when he tried to pass off on me, because he didn't realize, you know, he was like, you know, I'm getting rid of this, this, this thing here. I don't want this in my stack, so I'm going to give it off to you for, for, for a dollar. Try to hustle me. Try to hustle me, but it says, no, here it go. This is the first one. It said, evil angel link number one. I said, man, of all people, you're going to give me this. I said, I'm going to give you a $10, man, because I know what that means. That's the most powerful. Even in, even in the ancient world, they talk about wicked. It was like, this is gasoline, this is water. We'll put evil on gasoline. Don't mess with that now that you know what you're doing. I was like, oh, man, coming from you, I said, you gave me the greatest gift ever. Then he gave me this one. Evil spirit, 10th ranking. And I said, wait a minute, hold on, I'm Sagittarius. And it's not an hour. I was born on November the 28th. 2 and 8 is 10. I said, you done gave me me 
<laughs> and you done gave me the power. <laughs> you done gave me the power. And he was thinking he was getting rid of them. I'm getting rid of them. Because he only had one, two evil ones in the whole back. And he had a stack of these papers. I said, man, you don't know. You gave, you gave it to the right person. The prince of darkness himself. <laughs> but I do know that what that is, is, that's a real powerful entity there. And that's protection. Real powerful. And real powerful, that's protection. But what the, the point I'm trying to make here is, deal with these children's drawing. Because these children, you got your, you got your, you got the ones born, they say the ones born from the early 50s, the baby boomers, early 50s to 63, well they, they go longer than that in this, this line. The early 50s to the, to the 70s were called light bringers. Then in the, in the 70s they were called, the children were called indigo children. And then in the 90s they were called uh, 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 crystal children from 90 to 2000. And then in the 2000s they are called rainbow children. And this yeah. guy is on the cuffs. He's, 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 a level, he's a crystal child. And all. Uh, he's a crystal child. No, this, this boy is not 11. This boy is 7. So he's a rainbow child. And all. He's a rainbow child. Um, there's a, a CD you could get. Her name is Do Doreen, Doreen Virtue. Virtue. Crystal Children. What is it called? It's called Indigo Children. Mm -hmm. Get that CD. But the key, what I'm trying to say here is, you need to get their drawings and collect their drawings. Or either you got grandchildren, um, just tell them, look, can you do, can you draw me some pictures? No matter how old they are, tell them to draw you some pictures. You see what I'm saying? And then collect those pictures because those pictures got magical powers to them. You see what I'm saying? They got magical powers to them. And, and, and it's interesting here. And so that's 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 very powerful that's going on right now. And um and uh, my brother, my brother back in, my brother had a, 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 a crystal, he had a crystal child in, I think it was born in 97, and he said, draw out me seven, five numbers. Because he was going to try to play the fantasy five. So the little boy drew out five numbers on a piece of paper, but he messed around and something got distracted and didn't go out and play the number and turn on the TV and the dog on fantasy five hit. And that was like, I don't know how much, it's 500,000 or 100,000. Right. Okay, he sat there and cried. <laughs> <laughs> so these children, you get any anybody, everybody got some. You black people, you gonna have a bunch of babies. You got grandchildren, you got cousins. It don't matter. Find a child and have that child draw you a picture. You know, draw you a picture. And he also gave me this one. I'm selling the purple plates. Very powerful. And those pictures are for prosperity. Mm -hmm. Those pictures are for um, um, healing, they're for warnings, they're for visions, they're for knowledge, they're for all types of things. Y'all all right? Okay. Now, let's pull libations and we can get on with the lecture. All right. So this, I guess this one, we're doing wrong, so I'm going to put her back up. You get to be, no, hold on, hold on, let me see. Let me see who could be the libation person. Um... I'm going to pull a libation. Um, we're going to pull a libation to the Moorish god Metatron. Well, I'm, I'm, I will share that. Got to have Big Mama up in there too. This is the Moorish god Metatron. We're going to say Metatron and Yemen, y'all. I'm going to pull libations to them. Um, um, and also, we got an Oshun picture here, a Legba picture, got Shango. Uh, we got a couple of things right here. We also have the famous uh, King Tut that I'll show on, on one of the slides with the, the eyes. They only put this picture out about every 20 years, every 20, every 20 years. The one there's a, a, a King Tut picture with human eyes. Very powerful. You can also use that to heal. And I, I'll show it on the overlay in a few minutes. So we're going to go to the Moorish God Metatron. Now you Moors now have a, a God that you can deal with. And we're going to go back into that particular information. I'm going to read some information on that Metatron. But after we pull the libation, I want to go into this particular history on what has come down on the history on the war against the Moors. And it's all based on military history. It's military history. So um, you, he's a war machine. He's a warfare machine. And they got to choose enemies. 
and it's, and it's two reasons why they have to do this. There was prophecy that the Moors uh, brought prophecy to Europe, and some of that prophecy has come true. And the other part of that is, um, uh, uh, as far as the more the fighting more, the energy or uh, whatever, and they 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 dealing with this with a military attack. We're we'll getting this in a few minutes. So let's pull some Ron Rico rum. <laughs> You also want to get some, buy you some sherry. Sherry was produced, okay, the, the Arabs can't drink, couldn't drink alcohol. So the Moors introduced alcohol into distillation into Europe. The ancient world used to drink wines and beer, you know, the Egyptian the beer and wine. But distillation and alcohol and those spirits were produced into Europe by the Moors. They'll say by the Arabs. When they say by the Arabs, the Arabs was not an alcohol culture. They were talking about the Moors, so they play play on words and stuff like that. But one of the first things that they introduced, along with the uh, along with the with, with the grains and the spirits, one of the things that they produced was sherry in Andalusia. So anybody in any of you Moors, get you some sherry wine because that is one of that was one of the highest things that they used to use as far as um, when it came to their whole protocol. And their diplomacy, they dealt, dealt with sherry. And that ritual was continued on Fraser Crane. Anybody know the, the, the show Fraser? Yes. Yeah. Fraser always, they always break out the sherry. Mm -hmm. You see, they always break out the sherry. It's a very addictive show when you really get into it. And all, uh, you know, it's a very addictive show. Uh, and all, uh, you know. So uh, get you some um, <coughs> get you some sherry if you are the more. You see what I'm saying? So we want to. So okay, so we we gonna uh, we gonna also we also wanna introduce this particular person here, and we wanna um, dedicate this lecture to the passing of Ivan Van Sertema, mm. as of yesterday. Uh, mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he passed away. Was yesterday. When was it? Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. When was it? Yesterday. Mm -hmm. yesterday. Now we wanna dedicate this lecture to to Ivan Van Sertema. Um, he is the person that gave us, and it's fitting, the golden 